cows are placental mammals, and more specifically, ruminant artiodactyls. The female possesses an ovary which produces the eggs, which are released into the body cavity where the infundibulum region of the oviduct attempts to take them up. They then pass into one of two uterine horns before reaching the body of the uterus. Like most mammals, cows have a Y-shaped uterus, two separate uterine horns fused to form the body of the uterus, which meets the vagina at the cervix. The uterus of a pregnant cow is so much larger than the uterus of the cow before pregnancy. This is because as a placental mammal, the fetus obtains its nutrients from its mother it can reach an advanced size. This is because of extra embryonic membranes, such as the chorion and allantois, uh, which surround the embryo. These attach and form a placenta, but cows, as ruminants, have a type of placenta known as a cotyledonary placenta. In this form of placenta, the maternal tissue does not completely surround the fetus, as in primates, nor does the fetal tissue uh, invade the endometrium of the uterus, but rather attaches to it. There are specific thickenings known as caruncles in the female uterus. One can observe this even prior to pregnancy. And these are the only sites where placental tissues can form connecting the fetus to the mother. The caruncles of the uterine lining are the sites where the chorioallantoic placenta uh, forms as these extra embryonic membranes invade these spaces in the caruncles. And so uh, the placenta, or more specifically a placentome, is formed by the conjunction of the maternal caruncle and the fetal cotyledon.